Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks so much for joining us as we take a look at your weekend weather outlook and the forecast through to the end of January. And by the way, there's quite a lot going on at the moment. Not only have we got uh, a heat wave for some parts of the country, which may well challenge our highest ever recorded temperature around next Monday and Tuesday in the South Island, but we've also got inland severe thunderstorms and now a tropical depression is forming and it might become a cyclone before it reaches New Zealand next week. So let's get into it. On the animated wind map, there is not a lot going on. A fair bit of morning cloud around the country that will develop into a few isolated downpours this afternoon through inland areas. Otherwise, the winds are fairly light around the country and it's warm as well, especially in the South Island. As we head in towards the weekend, Saturday sees high pressure remaining out here in the Tasman and pushing across the country. Afternoon downpours once more popping up, some of them heavy, and there is a chance of an isolated thunderstorm. It's pretty hot in the South Island, highs into the low 30s. In the North Island, most of the highs will be in the mid to late 20s, but it'll be a little bit more humid around the North Island, so it'll still feel pretty warm. Speaking of the heat, it is very hot in Australia at the moment. This is the Saturday forecast. The area in pink here, these are daytime temperatures in the shade in the mid 40s. So very, very hot. Across the Tasman, it's the mid 20s. And around New Zealand, we're seeing highs in the mid to late 20s for the most part. But some areas are getting into the 30s and that will get even higher up uh, into the 30s into Monday and Tuesday. Get there in a moment. Here is Sunday set up a few downpours once again in the north, mostly inland. Humidity is now going up even more in the North Island and the showers in the South Island are becoming lighter, not quite as, uh, as intense as some of them have been over the past few days. Let's get to next week. Here's Monday. It's a big anniversary day for the Upper North Island, so we've got about 2 million people on holiday, and we've got a nor'east flow. Few showers maybe from Auckland northwards, nothing too serious. It is a warm day, and in the south, the airflow coming around and tilting more north to northwest pushes those daytime temperatures right up. Central Otago, you've got highs in the mid to late 30s on Monday, and then as we get into Tuesday, this same area in the South Island could be looking into the mid to late 30s. Highest ever recorded temperature in New Zealand was 42 in the eastern side of the South Island. So we'll be getting up into the late 30s. Hard to say if we'll beat that record or not. Kind of don't work that stuff out until very close to the day. Here is the low though. This is the storm. It could be a cyclone uh, on, on uh, Tuesday of next week as it drifts further towards us. But as you can see, it's still well away from New Zealand. And by the time we reach Wednesday, the last day of January, it's a nasty storm, but it's well out at sea. But there are a couple of other features to focus on. Next week, we've got a super moon. That means it's bigger and brighter than usual. And our tides, we have king tides associated with it. So we've got a higher than usual tide at the same time as lower air pressure is moving in. And the lower the air pressure is, the higher our tides are. And then on top of that, this big northerly flow. So it could be pushing again more water into some areas, and then you've got the rain on top of that, which is still out at sea, but is arriving perhaps for the first day of February. So there is a fair bit going on. Hopefully it's just far enough out at sea to not cause too many issues. And the last thing, obviously, big seas coming through as a result of that. There'll be very dangerous swells and beach conditions developing later next week around the western side of both islands. So there's a lot to talk about, but have a great weekend. The weather is looking pretty quiet over the weekend, apart from those isolated downpours. We'll keep you up to date at weatherwatch.co.nz. Hopefully you've seen our new forecast, our new data, which is now appearing thanks to the weather company and IBM. They actually owned Wonderground, so we're not changing uh, anything too dramatically. We're just improving the uh, accuracy of the data using the world's most powerful weather computer, the Watson supercomputer. So we're really uh, proud to have those forecasts. And of course, they are free. That is all from me. We'll catch you again on, well, probably Tuesday. I've got Monday off, so I'll see you on Tuesday. <laughs>